It's one of the rarest plays in baseball, the straight steal of home. Boston's Jacoby Ellsbury was all smiles after he victimized the Yankees in a 4-1 win Sunday at Fenway Park. You might see it one to two times a year, maybe maybe that much. For the Red Sox, for example, it hadn't ha they hadn't had one in 15 years. Billy Hatcher, who used to play for the Reds, did it for the Red Sox in uh, 1994. That's the last time they documented a straight steal of home. Ellsbury took off for home as Yankee left-handed pitcher Andy Pettit went into his windup. Pettit said he saw Ellsbury in the corner of his eye but couldn't speed up his windup fast enough to get him out. But Boston's J.D. Drew, batting lefty on the play, likely did see his teammate make his bold move and didn't swing. The Angels' Torrey Hunter was the last big league player before Ellsbury to steal home September 18th of last year. Allowing a steal of home can be embarrassing for a pitcher, and it isn't the first time it's happened to the Yankee lefty. A couple of years ago, this happened to Andy Pettit. Uh, Aaron Hill of the Toronto Blue Jays stole home, straight steal of home against Pettit when he was pitching. So it has happened before. It is so rare, though, that pitchers, they might think about it, but they're going to be concentrating so much on the hitter, they're not really going to be thinking about that base runner. Hall of Famer Rod Carew stole home seven times alone in the 1969 season. All-time steals leader Ricky Henderson did it four times in his career. Jackie Robinson pulled off arguably the most famous steal of home, doing it in the 1955 World Series. In the early days of baseball, the steal of home was not as much of a rarity. One member of the first class inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame was especially adept at swiping home plate. Back in the turn of the century, the 20th century, Ty Cobb was the master of it. He did it eight times in one year and just did it three to four dozen times. Things weren't quite as documented back then. It did not used to be such a rare play, but in recent years, last 15, 20, 30 years, you don't see it very often. That's because as scoring increased in the last 20 years or so, teams didn't feel trying to steal home was necessary or worth the risk. Jack Briggs, The Associated Press.